If you're asked to rationalise a denominator of a fraction, what you have to do is get rid of the third at the bottom of the fraction. So we need to get rid of this root here. And the way you do it is to multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction by whatever third you have on the denominator. So if we look at example 1, so we need to rationalise this fraction. So the third on the bottom is root 7. So we have to multiply the numerator and denominator by root 7. So all we have to do now is work this out. So 3 times root 7 will give you 3 root 7. And root 7 times root 7 will give you just 7. So you see it's now a whole number, so it's a rational number. So let's move on to example 2. So this time we have 2 root 11 over 3 root 2. So again, we need to rationalise the denominator. So we just need to multiply by the third on the denominator. So we need to multiply the top and bottom by root 2. There's no need to multiply by 3 root 2, just multiplying it by root 2 will be good enough. Okay, so if we multiply the numerator, we'll get 2 root 22. And if we multiply the denominator, we'll get 3 times 2, which is 6 because root 2 times root 2 is 2. On this one we can do a little bit more simplifying because 2 out of 6, 2 sixths cancels to 1 third. So we can write this one as a third root 22. So let's look at our final example. So in example 3, so we need to rationalise this fraction here. So we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by root 3. So the whole numerator must be multiplied by root 3, not just the last number. So it's like a single bracket on the numerator. So if we do 2 times root 3, that will give you 2 root 3. And if we do root 7 times root 3, that will give root 21. And again, if we multiply the denominators together, root 3 times root 3 is 3. So as you can see, the denominator is now rational.